Final segment of the show for the morning, and the topic is the Tennessee Board of Regents, and we're talking to uh, Chancellor John Morgan, who is the head of the uh, Tennessee Board of Regents, and he's given us some information in reference to some of the challenges and some of the opportunities uh, that uh, are facing the uh, system this morning. And of course, Chancellor, let's pick up by having you to talk about some of the challenges, some of the things that you think are challenging in terms of sure. outside of money. I know money is always a challenge, but outside of money, what right. are some of the things that uh, you feel that you're challenged by? And what are some of the opportunities after we talk well, about? Well, one of the, historically in this, uh, hopefully this changes in the near future because of all the work that has been done in Tennessee uh, by prior administrations, prior governors, and this mm -hmm. governor in terms of K-12 education or P-12 education. Uh, roughly 70% of the students who enter our institutions mm -hmm. in the Tennessee Board of Regents uh, come to us really unprepared for college level work. Mm -hmm. And that's particularly true in mathematics, mm -hmm. uh, also true in English and language arts, but especially mm -hmm. true in mathematics. So one of the big challenges we have mm -hmm. in this environment of performance and outcomes mm -hmm. uh, is being successful with students who really need help uh, from day one when they come into our system. Mm -hmm. So much of what we have been doing uh, in the last couple of years is trying to find ways to build our programs to overcome those deficiencies, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, to get students up to college level as quickly as we can. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of really great innovation going on mm -hmm. within our system. And I believe the same is true in the University of Tennessee system as well in how we deal with those underprepared students. Now, if the reforms in P-12 education are successful, mm -hmm. and we would hope in the next two years, three years, mm -hmm. and in the near term, uh, we would find students graduate from high school that were ready mm -hmm. uh, to do college, college ready work. when mm -hmm. they come out mm -hmm. of high school, but that's not the case right now. Mm -hmm. And since the higher education funding formula, not to complain about money again, mm -hmm. but, but because mm -hmm. the formula is based on outcomes, and those outcomes are driven mostly by student success, mm -hmm. then it's critical for us, mm -hmm. if we're gonna be successful as a, a system and a institutions mm -hmm. within our system, to find ways to be successful with students that historically we haven't done that well with. Mm -hmm. You know, Tennessee's demographics are changing. Mm -hmm. um, we see uh, much greater growth in the African-American population mm -hmm. in terms of high school graduates, uh, even greater growth among Hispanic mm -hmm. uh, students. Uh, and, and historically, those students tend to come, unfortunately, mm -hmm. from lower income households. Mm -hmm. Uh, they tend many times to be first-generation college mm -hmm. students. Uh, they tend to be more likely to have gone to high schools that don't do the best mm -hmm. job of preparation. Uh, but those are the students that we serve, mm -hmm. and those are the students we need to serve in order for Tennessee to be successful. Mm -hmm. uh, so our challenge really is taking the resources we have, mm -hmm. using those resources in a way that we can be successful with students that historically we haven't done mm -hmm. as well with, mm -hmm. Uh, in order to generate the outcomes that will generate more investment mm -hmm. in higher education, and more importantly than, than generate uh, more investment, really meet the state's mm -hmm. needs. Mm -hmm. Now what about some of the opportunities that uh, you see now and, and some of the plans that, that you have in terms of how Tennessee should uh, move in terms of higher education? The opportunities, I think, maybe the challenges and the opportunities are very similar. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a good time to be in public higher education in Tennessee. Uh, the special session that passed the Complete College Act I, th I think it was a, a real turning point mm -hmm. in Tennessee. Um, mm -hmm. Tennessee is looked at now nationally as being a leader in higher education sure. reform and innovation. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a real opportunity for us to excel. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of rankings, a lot of categories, a lot of publications that don't necessarily rank Tennessee very high mm -hmm. on a lot of measures. Mm -hmm. um, but I believe we are poised as a state to mm -hmm. really uh, show the rest of the country mm -hmm how we can be uh, mm -hmm. much more successful in higher mm -hmm. education in Tennessee. So that's a great opportunity mm -hmm. for us. Uh, we're currently on the leading edge of expectation. Mm -hmm. I think we can be on the leading <laughs> edge of innovation. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And that's very much the business that, uh, that we're in. I like that the leading edge of expectation. Uh, we that, we, that have, set, we uh -huh. have set expectations very high in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. We have 
embarked on some reform initiatives that uh, the rest of the country is watching. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I'm determined that at least the border agents is not going to disappoint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and so overall, you believe that uh, the state of Tennessee is in, in a real good situation.